Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool endgame puzzle where there are only a few pieces on the board and both queens are in tension. So currently it's white to move and if you want to pause the video and give it a shot, feel free to try it out. Okay, so the first thing you have to notice is that white cannot take this queen on a1 because that would be stalemate, right? This is covered and the king can't come here. So that doesn't work. Okay. Well, what other moves do you think of when you're on h8? So I thought of a check here, a check here, and then I thought what other checks are there? Well, this check on e5 obviously doesn't work because they can just take it. That doesn't make any sense. And this check here, after the king goes into the corner, there's actually not much you can do in this position. So when I was thinking about it, I thought, okay, what if I went in here, try to sneak attack? Well, not really, because they can check you and if they want to be really fancy in this position, they actually can go right here for a stalemate. Because if you take, it's stalemate. And if you don't take, they go here and say, you're either going to take me or we're going to repeat. And it's going to be stalemate either way or a draw as a repetition. So after looking at that line, I realized I really can't do that. I can't bring my queen here because that leaves me vulnerable on these squares. Okay. And after queen h2, there's really nothing else that you can do. There's no fancy trick. You can't move out of the way trying to threaten some kind of mate just because you're so susceptible to checks, right? You're so open. This is not going to work out. This is just going to be a draw. Okay. So it turns out queen h2 doesn't work. So I thought maybe there's some quiet move. Maybe there's a way I can go queen h7 with the idea of check, and then after the king moves, I can mate. Does that work? Queen h7. Well, no, because after queen f6, this is also a draw. So you have a couple of options here. You can go king d7, you can go king e8, or you can interpose with the queen. If you want to lose, you can interpose with the queen and then take, oh, no, sorry, not take there, take, and this is going to be a loss for white. Okay, so you don't want to do that. So the winning move is neither of the ones I've showed so far. Or none of the ones I've showed so far. So what is it? In this position, the winning move is queen g8. Cool, right? But why? Why is it cool? And I hope by the end of this, you'll see the pattern and why I thought it was so awesome. So the idea is I'm, th I'm currently threatening to move this king and give mate. That's the threat. So if you do something like give me check, that's fine. I'll just move my king, and that's check, and you're going to have to block, but that doesn't matter. That's still mate. So I'm threatening to move, which means you really can't get away with checking my king anywhere, because if you check it here, it's the same idea. Move out of the way. This is going to be mate, because the king, queen, pawn, all in the area. Okay, so let's go back. After queen g8, the best move for black in this position is saying queen a2. Saying, okay, fine, I see what you're doing. But if you take me now, I give it stalemate. And if you move your king now to give me mate, well, I can just take it. And now you're the one losing. So white can't do that. Okay, so after queen a2, what do you do as white? Well, maybe you think you'd go up another step. Maybe you think you're slowly walking up. Well, if you do that, black can mirror you again, and now they have access to some of these checking squares. So if you continue this pattern of one, two, three, if you go up to e8, thinking that you can kind of give mate, they don't have to follow you. Instead, they actually can give you check here. And now black is actually gonna win because of queen d7, you take this pawn, that's not feeling good. So you can't just go up one square at a time. And here is the big theme. And I, if you don't see it yet, that's fine. But I love this theme. So after you go up one, you go up to e8. So you have one, two, and then you say, okay, same idea. This queen has to mirror me. Because again, I'm threatening to move this. And there's no way to cover all these checks and cover all these um, squares for the king. So they mirror you saying, if you move your king, let's just say it here, 
I'll just take you. Right? And who wins this? This is a draw. Okay. Because in just case that's not clear, the king can't get out. Right? Okay. Go back. So you can't take them still. So what do you do? Well, here's what's amazing about this square on e8. So you went from h8 to g8, and now you go to e8. What's the point? Now you have access to this check. Now what does that do? What's that, what does that mean exactly? They just go in the corner. Here's the move. Lovely little triangulation. Where does the triangle start? It started right on h8. That's a nice triangle. Boom, h8. Now I'm threatening to move my king, and you can't cover me moving my king. You want to give me check somewhere? Where? This square is covered from this. This square is covered. My queen is seeing that. This square? You want to give me check? Fine, I'll move its mate. So what do you do? Well, just like before, what if I went back? What if I mirror you again? Well, here's the big deal. You can't do that anymore because the king and the queen are on the same A file. So I can take this, and that's going to be with check. And then after this moves, this is going to be mate. So this whole problem is just a big triangulation exercise. And if you don't know what triangulation is, it's an amazing resource in King and Pawn endgames most often, but you can use it with pieces as well. So I love this. It's so fancy. One, one, then you go two, they mirror you with two, and then after this little maneuver, your third move is back here. So you went one, two, and then after the check, pretty much that's three, back to the starting place. And they cannot mirror that because then they would fall with check. I hope that you think that's as cool as I think it is because it is a fancy triangulation puzzle. If you were able to solve it, congratulations, great job. But that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, be sure to like and subscribe. I put new videos out all the time, and my whole goal is to spread the amazing game of chess and to help out charity, and every single subscriber helps out a lot. Thank you so much. Bye.